When I was a freshman at Tech, I was invited to a boxer blazer party. It sounded like a lot of fun. There was only one problem. I didn't know exactly what it was, but it sounded self-explanatory. So, I didn't ask. For the people out there that might not know, in a boxer blazer party, basically, the guys when they get there, take off their pants. And it's party time. Now, you should dress up and wear a nice tie. Now, other than the lack of pants, it's kind of semi-formal. But, as a young engineer, I took my party specs very literally. And when it said, boxer blazers, I thought, boxer, boxers check, and, and jacket. No shirt, though. <laughs> Now back then I had a nice blue job here with nice gold buttons, got my jacket, got my boxer shorts, I'm ready to party in my underwear. So I go to AJ to pick up two girls that I'm taking to the party, uh, get there, and like everybody else, take off uh, the winter coat because it's kind of cold outside, take off my pants like the rest of the guys, throw them in the pile. Now I'm kind of the center of attention a little bit because everybody else has on a shirt and tie, and I'm not. So I'm having a good time, a, a little bit the center of attention, and I start to drink. Now there are some things that I do a lot better when I drink. I throw darts a lot better when I drink. I play volleyball a lot better when I drink. I drink more a lot better when I drink. Partying in my underwear is not one of the things I do better when I drink. And so I drank too much. And let's just say I passed out in my underwear and jacket. So I wake up the next day and I'm not really sure where I am. I look up and there's a loft and I'm in a room that I don't recognize. And the first thing I think is, oh no, I hope I didn't go home with, well, I won't say her name. I investigated the room a little bit and didn't recognize anything. I looked out the window and everything just seemed strange. And it seemed like I was in town. Got myself together, opened the door to the room and went out into the hallway. And finally I did recognize where I was. Well, after the night I had, I needed to go use the facilities immediately. And as I passed by the mirror, I saw something strange. But I had pressing business to attend to. When I was done, I came back and looked in the mirror, and there was something written on my chest. So I'm sitting there trying to read it. Now, normally reading in the mirror is difficult because everything is backwards. Now, I was not hung over from the night before. I was still drunk. And so here I am, I'm trying to read in the mirror what is, you know, written on my chest. And I'm like, what? And it turns out that what's written on my chest in permanent ink is Lambda Horizon. Which seems innocuous enough, except for at Tech, that was the name of the local gay organization. Now, one thing to understand about my living situation in Pritchard is that the bathroom showers were just 12 nozzles sticking out of a wall. There was no partition. Going to take that off, I was going to be going into a room full of guys to shower with that written across my chest. And to make things worse, the rumor was that one of the guys that lived on another hall that showered there that was nicknamed Skunk Man because he had a little white spot in his fro, liked to turn around and look at everybody else while he was showering. I didn't want this to seem like an invitation to him. So I get together with a friend, he loans me a sweatshirt, and we go have breakfast, and he fills me in on all the gory details of what happened to me while I was passed out. Apparently there was a whole bunch of my friends trying to figure out how to abuse me while I was passed out. Thankfully, one of my friend's girlfriends stopped them from going too overboard. 
uh, basically just the writing on the chest, and uh, they were nice enough to carry me up two flights of stairs before they threw me into the room underneath that loft. And I find out later that one of my friend's girlfriends was nice enough to tuck me in, which is always nice the first time that a beautiful woman other than your mother tucks you in. Now, from this experience, did I learn to stop binge drinking? No, that took later when I got beat up in a bar, which I explained in another video. In fact, one of the girls that I talked about in this video was talked about there as well. So just remember, if you drink too much and you don't control yourself, you'll end up at the mercy of your friends. And hopefully, they will be no more crueler to you than my friends were to me.